Ooh, what is going on, guys? And welcome back to Griffin Outdoors Channel. My name is Ty, as always, and today we are going to be moving our camera to a spot where we are able to shoot rifle season out of the spot. We're going to put a leaner where the hang on stand was. Um, I, I don't think I, I'm gonna, not going to post the video. My, I don't think I even said it, but my hang on stand at Watermelon got stolen. That's why there's been no more videos, but what can you do? From, but so we're going to go move the stand so we can put a leaner on a tree for rifle season. So we're going to sort of point in a direction that's safe for not shooting at any of the houses or anything. So we're going to get going on that. We're also going to put probably about probably about 30-ish, uh, 30-ish, uh, maybe 25, 30 pounds of corn out, about half the bag. And we're also going to be we're also going to put the card and new batteries in the camera. So we're doing like a full maintenance video today. I'm really excited about that. I'm probably going to bring uh, my um, I'm going to bring my uh, bow just in case we see anything but I'm, I'm doubting there's gonna be anything there my um my dad is working in the in the um right behind it so I doubt there's anything within like three miles of it but I figure if we put it out now the the noise might cover us enough where the deer will feel safer in the morning and in the evening tonight because I'm planning on doing a hunt there tonight over this new corn spot because there's a pretty nice scrape over there I'll show you in a second all right sweet as you can see, I'm putting this corn like right in here. As you can see, there's a scrape clearly right here. It's been changed again since I last saw it. But I don't know, man. I looked at it last night. But anyway, I'm going to put this corn like right in here. I don't know if it's good to put it right on top of a scrape or not, but this is the only really good. This is the literally the perfect spot for it. I'm probably going to put the stand somewhere like... The stand probably going to be somewhere like over there. Like on one of these trees. Maybe they got the, um, like one of the bigger pine trees, maybe even that one, one by the, um, the cedar, little cedar tree we got going on right there. But anyway, so I'm going to spread this corn around here. The camera's over there somewhere, then after I spread this corn, I'll move the camera to the corn. I'm probably actually going to go get the camera first, and then, because you have to put batteries and the SD card back in, it's out of battery. All right, sweet. Here's the corn. If you watch my first video putting this stuff out, you can see that this stuff got absolutely annihilated. There's still some of it left here. But I'm gonna put a fresh corn pile out there because they walk down that fence line over there where I've parked the gate. They just walk right down it. So what I'm gonna do that's where the old hang on was on this tree right there. You can still see one of the steps. But anyway, so I'm gonna take this off the tree and I'm gonna move. I'm gonna move it over there. We'll get going. Ladies and gentlemen, as you see, we have the camera in hand. Like I said earlier, the only reason I'm moving this, I don't like moving the corns a lot, a lot but uh, if we put it out this way, you can see there's nothing out there. We can shoot the rifles out here, and this is about probably, probably 45, 50 yards from where we're going to be. It's so it's perfect rifle range, so that's why we're going to put this around in here. And we're not leaving the corn there, just adding more corn. Because I want to um, be able to shoot rifle out of this spot too. Alright, so uh, we're here. Uh, I'm going to put this corn. i jump over there. Uh, I'm probably going to put this corn pile. So I want to see anything out there too. See, there's a gator right there. Um, I sort of think these things are going to come. There's that scrape. I sort of think these things are going to be coming from this way mainly. So there's that. I'm probably going to put it on this tree right here. But also, if it's for further back, gives us a better picture of what's in there eating it. So again, it's not all zoomed in. So I'm going to put it on this tree right here. But I'm just going to strap it before I put batteries in this thing or anything. Uh, I'll, I'll put the batteries in it and stuff. I won't put the SD card in. So we're done with the corn so it's not sitting there taking videos of me. Alrighty. Sweet. Alright, as you see, things on. It says no card. I'm going to go strap this up to the tree and then put the corn out. Alright, as you can see, we have here the camera set up. As you see, flip it around, angles right there. Corn's gonna go right in that little hole. And we should be good to go. So I'm gonna put this corn out. The other thing we have to do is I have a chair sitting on the ground over there that I'm using as a temporary bow sitting spot. I'll just bury myself in all these tall weeds, or find a little pocket in all these tall weeds. And I um, have my. Um, bow set up and I can actually shoot from that chair just sitting down really well so we're gonna see 
we can find a good spot with this corn being right in there to shoot from. All right, sweet. All right, I just decided to put the whole 50 pounds out. Number one, it wasn't as much as I thought it was. For some reason, I forgot <laughs> that it wasn't, that was only this much. But anyway, the other thing is, with rifle season not coming and everything, I don't want to be just in here constantly. Besides, like, when I slip out back to here, just check the camera so I can just slip in and get it and get out. I don't want to be out here making ways right in this corn pile all the time. So that's, that's it for that. Now I'm going to go put my SD card in the camera. So I'll see you for that. All right, as you see, countdown. No, nope, I don't want to do that. Uh, video right there. So I got that running. Gonna close this up. I'm gonna make take a little video right here. Let's make a tiny video of me just in here just to sort of see. Just so I put a standard. Oh, dang it. Accidentally stepped on it the wrong brush. But that's right, so right here. Hey, 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 hey. Should definitely be running by now. The video delay is only 10 seconds. Okay, we're good. Last, I'm going to go up here. I'm not going to drive the gator anymore until I'm leaving. But I'm going to come up here and my. I'll, sh I'll just walk there. It's not very far. Just to show you where my mom. Um, where it is. And here it is. You can sort of see it right here. Uh, it, took a little, it was a little further away than I thought, so I decided to just cut. I thought I just heard a deer. No, I don't think so. Anyway. I thought I heard him below, but I don't think so. Anyway, here's the chair. It's just my little turkey chair. I've used this on this channel a bunch of times, mostly for turkey hunting, but or all for turkey hunting. But but I've got this here, and I'm gonna just go take it and find a spot over there. All right. As you see, here's our chair. Let's see about this bush. Bush got some nice back cover. Well, it's got the back of this chair. To see our um, you can see here's our view. As you can see, uh, I can't find it in the camera for some reason. Oh, right here. You can see our camera. Why can I not pick this up on camera? Uh, oh, right there. It's just hard to see the straps right there. On that tree, you can sort of see the little straps right there. But anyway, see me out. So the corn, the corn is right there at about, probably about 22-ish yards. If we just, but basically I'll put it on the 20-yard pin and it should be definitely, should be fine at 22. The back part to the middle of the road is probably about 25. So, I mean, to the middle of the, that lane is 25, probably to the fence is about 30. So if we see, sit down here. Sit down, we got this view. I'm probably gonna cut down, knock down these two tall, these two tall bushes right here. Um, right there, and I'll just knock those down. This one too. And now, okay, so we're on here. This is actually really good. We have that right there. They're coming from this way. They shouldn't be able to see this. I'll be in full camo. Won't be just <laughs> white legs, but they'll be camouflaged, I'll hope. So, but if you come from there, we sort of got this bush here as protection. As, as sort of not protection as a blocker, so I can't, hopefully, I won't be able to tell it's us. They'll think we're just another bush. If they're coming from that way, we have all this stuff. I can hopefully can duck down a little bit until they're ready to go. If they're coming from that way, we got this bush. So we should have to be pretty good, pretty well covered. All right, so that is going to do it for now. Um, so yeah, I'll probably see you to, uh, in a little bit. I'm gonna, let, I'm gonna let all this settle for a second for probably about a couple hours, or it won't be, yeah, I'm gonna let this settle for a couple hours, and then I'll, um, and then I'll, I'll probably be out back here tonight, see if I can catch anything going to the corn. Because there's also the corn there still, so they already know there's corn here, so it's not like they have to find it all over again. So, and maybe it'll, it'll be an extra motivation if there's, there's, corn over, there's corn over there now. But anyway, so you'll probably see that video a day or two after this one goes up. But, without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to do it for this episode, edition, uh, video, whatever, of Griffin Outdoors. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.